Hi, I'm going to show you how to connect to your web server using an FTP client. This one is FileZilla. If you don't have FileZilla, you can download it for free for Mac, PC, and Linux pl platforms. FTP stands for File Transfer Protocol, and it is used to move files from your local machine up to a web server. So when you're building a website, you'll build your website on your computer, whatever it happens to be, and when you're finished, or when you're ready to, you will use FTP software or the command line FTP if you choose to do that, and load your files for your website up to your web server. And to do that, we need three pieces of information. We need the host name for the domain that you have reserved and hosted somewhere, we need a username and we need a password. So I'm going to type in my host name for this site and I'll type in my username and my password. And I'm going to leave the port empty here. By default FTP runs on port 21. Um, most web hosts leave FTP open on port 21 and FileZilla will automatically detect if that's the type of connection you need to make here. So I'm just going to hit quick connect and you can see the status messages roll by. I have indeed successfully connected to my web server and you'll notice in the panes below on the left hand side you can see a local site listing of the directories on your, my local machine and on the right hand side you can see directories available on the web server. And what they're showing me here is a slash. Think of a slash as your root access to this particular account. And at the root of my access I have a folder called cdbufard.co.nf. It just happens to be named exactly what my domain name is. And anything I put in this folder is going to be accessible on the web. So I'm going to double click in here and it's opened up that folder for me and you can see I already have a folder and a file loaded up on my web server and I'm going to be loading up a few more things here today so what I need to do is find them on my local machine so I'm going to go into the local site pane and look for my let's see I need my sites folder so this is the folder that I want to use. You can see down below in this little window, the smaller window, there's a number of files in here. I want to transfer index.htm and I want to transfer style underscore CSS. I'm also going to transfer an image folder here. And let's work on index.htm first. The interface for FileZilla is pretty straightforward. All you need to do is click the file from your local machine that you want to move and drag it over to the remote side and your file will transfer. Normally FileZilla is going to auto detect the type of transfer that needs to happen whether it be ASCII or binary transfer. It's pretty good about detecting what mode it needs to use. I'm going to move my style.css file and then I'm going to grab my image folder as well and drag that over. And down here you can see the queue as FileZilla cycles through the files that are being loaded. They give you a, an update on how long the queue is uh, going to be running. It's pretty fast. So now you can see that my files are loaded onto my web server on the remote side. And you can see I have an index.htm, I have a style.css, and the image folder that I loaded as well. If I want to get to this file, I can go to my domain first. This is the publicly accessible root. You can think of that also as your domain name. And once I type that in, I would type a slash and then index.htm to get to the file that I want to view. And that's it. When you're finished with FileZilla, you can easily disconnect here. There's a little red X up in the toolbar. 
disconnect from your server, and you're done.